Hey everybody, my name is Vissa Moth and I'm a firefighter paramedic here at San Jose Fire Department Station 5. Today I'm going to show you Fire Station 5. Come check it out. Over here at Station 5 we have a battalion chief. This is our Chief Chung right here. Say hi. All right, so this is our apparatus bay. So here is the chief's buggy. This is what our battalion chief responds in. Uh, over here, we have our fire engine. So our fire engine has a 500 gallon tank. It's got a variety of hose so that we can fight fires. But besides fighting fires, we also respond to a variety of other emergencies. So some of the tools we have here, as you can see, we have our axes, bolt cutters, sledgehammers, things like that. And then over here, this is where we keep our medical e equipment that we use to respond to all medical uh, incidents when in our district. On the back side, we have a couple ladders over here. Let's see what else. Let me take a look over here. This is where we keep our air packs that you see us use. Oh, and look who we have here, it's Fire Engineer Hart. So he's keeping our engine nice and clean, always ready so we, we, we can respond to any emergency. And also, to my right here, we have our squad. So besides the fire engine, which you typically see, we house some specialized apparatus. The squad is a two-person company. It's staffed by a firefighter paramedic and also an engineer. Uh, it has the ability to run medical calls and also attaches to fires to perform any other fire suppression needs. And behind it is going to be our air support unit, which is going to be cross-staffed by the members of the squad. All right, so over here we have our storage rack where we keep all of our protective equipment. This is where all the shifts at our station store each item of our protective equipment. So some of the items that we have is our structure gear, starting with our structure helmet, and we have a coat, pants, suspenders, and boots. And that's what we're gonna be using to go into structure fires. Our yellows we have for vegetation or wildland fires. So these come as a coat, helmet, boots, pants also. Another vital piece of equipment that we have is our SCBA mask. So these hook up to our bottles and they allow us to breathe in different toxic atmospheres. So at the start of every shift, we grab our gear and place them on the appropriate apparatus. Over here, we have our other paramedic going over his medical equipment, making sure that we're always ready. So this is where I sit as a firefighter paramedic. Back here, I have my other firefighter, and up front, I have my engineer and my fire captain. All right. So over here, this is where we keep our strength training equipment and also our cardio conditioning equipment. This job is very physically demanding. So we are required to spend 90 minutes a day to work out to keep our conditioning up because you never know when the job will demand it. At any time, you could be required to throw some ladders, um, pull some hose, and maybe climb 10 flights of stairs. All right, so here we have our captain's and paramedic's office. This is where we're gonna do all of our patient care reports or any sort of data entry that we need to input throughout the day. Our captain here is working on firehouse. Firehouse. So he's taking care of all the needs and typing up, saying everything that we do throughout the day. Over here, this is our day room. So a special part of our day room is our wall of portraits between the three shifts. We work 48 hours. So after the A shift gets off duty, the B shift will come on for 48 hours, and then the C shift will come on once they get off duty, and we continue to rotate throughout. And this is the rest of our day room. This is where we can sit, do some training, go over some videos, uh, discuss things, and also if we have some free time, we'll try to 
catch a movie together if calls don't interrupt it. Let me show you the rest of the station. All right, now let's go take a look upstairs. So as we travel upstairs, you can see various pictures on our walls from San Jose Fire Department from way back when. We also have our memorial wall up here. We have some more recent photo collages of Station 5 personnel on different incidents and at the station. So up here on the second floor, this is where we have our lockers, bathrooms, showers, and also our dorm. As I said, we're here for 48 hours at a time. So this is our home and we take pride in our house. We, it's very important to take care of it, do cleaning, making sure it's in good shape for all crews that are coming through. And part of our cleaning is taking care of our sleeping areas. So our sleeping areas is where we try to get some rest when possible so that we can have the energy to go on whatever incident may happen. Throughout the night, on average here at Station 5, we get between three and four calls between 12 midnight and 6 a.m. Here at the fire station, we work 48 hours at a time. So part of that is cooking our meals. So we try to cook about two meals a day, if possible. Uh, this is our kitchen where we do all our cooking, our refrigerators, our sink where we do our dishes. Let's see what my good friend, firefighter Miguel Cho is cooking today. Hey guys, how you doing today? So today we're having a grilled chicken Caesar salad, homemade croutons, and a homemade dressing. As you can see, plain yogurt. Our bodies are a temple, so we try to keep it clean. I'm gonna step out in a little bit. We're gonna grill this chicken up, stay tuned. All right, so this is our dining table. This is where we gather around, we have chow, we meet, we have laughs, discuss, talk about things that's going on in each other's lives. What's unique about this table is that it's actually built out of a bowling alley lane. It's got our unique logo on it. Um, and the guys over at this station actually helped build and construct this table and piece it together. So hopefully it lasts for a long time. Uh, so many generations of firefighters can sit and enjoy their time at the fire station here. All right, I'm gonna have some chow. All right, last but not least, this is our backyard. So here in our backyard, this is where we're gonna park all our vehicles. We also have a diesel refueling station. We have a pickleball court back here, also a basketball court set up if we wanna play some basketball. We also have a grill and a smoker available. Actually, looks like we got a call right now, so I'll have to talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining us, see ya.